Eight sevens Thursday and Friday. Ticket takeover is Eddie Better. He says, starring Pearl Jam. Also featuring Devo. Morissette, The Breeders, Idols, Black Pumas, and more. Hey, Eddie, let's take five. Listen all day today, every hour, seven to five, to win your three-day passes to Ohana Festival. Going down at Doheny State Beach, September 27th to 29th. The winning starts every morning with The Woody Show. Woody Show! That's right, Eddie. On LA's new alternative, Alt 98.7. The Woody Show. Alt 98.7. Traffic. Morning, y'all. Happy Friday. TGIF on 987 Traffic, paid for by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Vote yes on 33, no on 34. Headed to Anaheim for a stall in, uh, well, Anaheim, 91 East past Euclid. It's a uh, vehicle that is straddling the two right lanes, and that is causing you early morning delays as you're making your way eastbound along the 91 from before Euclid, almost as far back as Brookhurst. Again, the stall straddling the two right lanes, and that is past Euclid as you're making over toward Harbor Boulevard. Don't be fooled. Corporate billionaires backed by the uh, California Apartment Association are working hand-in-hand with MAGA to mislead renters. Don't fall for their tactics. Vote for rent control. Vote yes on Prop 33 and no on Prop 34. I'm Nick Paulio, on 97 Traffic. All right, thank you very much. You know, it's always so weird not having uh, Greg on the traffic. I know. I know. <laughs> it's but, uh, unsettling. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those days where uh, Greg is just gets to sit on the sidelines and observe. I know, yeah. rules. Right. Literally sitting on my hands. Uh, well, coming up today, we got more chances for you every hour starting at 7 a.m. to win your passes for Ohana Fest, which is happening. It's a week from today. It's next Friday through Sunday, the 27th through the 29th. You can see Pearl Jam, Alanis Morissette, Devo, The Breeders, and more. And so I uh, keep listening. It's a Friday ticket takeover, you guys. Yeah. Uh, here on the Woody Show and Alt 987. Phones are open at 877 44 Woody. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. The Woody Show. It's locale news. And time for a headline closer to home here in the state of California. Well, there is a study out on the rudest cities in America. And instead of asking travelers, they actually surveyed 1,500 residents out of the 46 biggest metro areas in the U.S. And they asked them about the rudeness level in their own area. We got to figure, like, uh, which residents are going to be the most proud of being rude? Right. Mm. Basically. Or that New you York. admit that in your own town, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, New York city, Staten it's gotta, Island. It's got to be. It's got to be New York. <laughs> I would think New York as well. But in the end, the rudest city, according to its own residents, is Miami. What? Miami. I don't get that. I've been I, to Miami several times. I mean, I don't get me Miami. wrong. Miami sucks, but <laughs> <laughs> I've never been. I want to go. I think you would really enjoy. Oh, it, Greg. you'd never oh, come back. Yeah. It's it's a perfect city for Greg. Really? Yeah. yeah it it is, looks great. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. I, I hate Miami so much. <laughs> Interesting. I, I hate everything about. It. There's really, there's really nothing there for me. You don't like really? the Art Deco. You don't like the music yeah. and the food. I mean, the, the weather. Art, the, the Art Deco is okay, but I'm saying weather. Yeah. Be, like, why would you go to Miami specifically, right? I, well, so uh, for the things that make Miami, Miami, yeah, that whole real. like clubbing thing, the fashion thing, the yeah. you know, bunch of douchey guys with their chest hair out. <laughs> That's and, true. Yeah. You know, wearing white pants after Labor Day. Uh, like, it, it's just I don't. It's just not all my, those stereotypes are true. Oh yeah, really. Oh, what yeah. about Fort Lauderdale? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. If you're, uh, you know, taking yeah. a cruise out of there, I guess. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale's okay. Miami yeah. without the charm. Yeah, yeah. how about right. that? It, it was fine. I mean, yeah. we, we went there. As, we, we took a cruise out of there. Yeah, yeah it's it not fine. as fancy. And you, you say you don't want the fancy stuff. I, 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 the point is, like, if you are traveling somewhere, there, there's no reason for me to travel there unless right. I'm taking a cruise out of there. Right. Yeah. All right. Because there's not just anything for me. For Greg, yeah. well, it's so, a lot yeah. of stuff he likes. Yeah. Someday I will go. Yeah. Someday. FYI, if you are taking a cruise out of there, there is a Waffle House just like right outside. Oh, okay. oh, good to know. Write that down. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> I want to get some yeah. breakfast right make, before make you hop on All right. your ship. With well, endless food on the ship. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. As far as the rude stuff goes, Long Beach did make the list number nine. Whoa. Rudest mm. city. Uh, and then after Miami, number one, the rest of the top ten, Philadelphia, Tampa, Louisville, Kentucky, Oakland, 
not a surprise. Uh, Boston, Memphis, Vegas. Like I said, Long Beach mm-hmm. at number nine. And then it's Charlotte, North Carolina at number 10 as what? the rudest. I oh, thought wow. they were supposed to be really nice. Yeah, nice and stuff. And now on the other end of things, the most polite city is Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, Come on, babe. Okay. And then it's so San folksy. Diego. Yeah. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. Milwaukee. And Indianapolis, okay. San Diego, super nice. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I lived there for I mean, five years. I, mean, I, would, I wouldn't say it's mean or rude or anything like that, but yeah, I mean, we know our buddy Chino, and he's, that's one person yeah, who's he, nice. He's super nice. Yeah, uh, but San Francisco sucks, and I know some nice people <laughs> yeah, there. Exactly, doesn't mean the city's nice. It does, and I know they looked at the forty-six largest cities, but right. Car- Carpinteria should be on that yeah. list. Oh, we know yeah. Jesse Everybody's from San so Diego. Nice. He's very nice. Oh yeah, but Greg, you were there for five years. Frankie didn't V, jump out yeah. of here. No. So nice. Not really. Oh, my friend Alexia. Yeah, she lives there. She's very nice. Oh, she's totally nice. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Alexia. Also, a couple California cities are among the most rodent infested in the entire yeah. country because the pest control company Terminix, they looked at all 300 of their branches to see who had the most rodent control services last year. So you got the San Francisco Bay Area ranked as number two rattiest. And here in L.A., we are at number three. Ugh. And that's out of the top 50 cities. And what was Damn. number one? Uh, number one was New York. Okay, that the makes rattiest. sense. Rattiest, yeah. and then San Francisco. That's where we had pizza rats, so. Right. That's right. And then we are in third. Then it's Philly, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Houston, Boston, Dallas, and Atlanta. All right, uh, so all huge cities. Yeah, all yeah, big yeah, cities. Yeah, the metro area. <laughs> yeah, a lot of rats. <laughs> Which yeah. explains it, because Terminix says, you know, rats and mice are common in populated areas, yeah. because that's where the people are living, and they have access to food. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly. where the trash is. So no big shocker. What else is going on, Wood? All right, what about the weekend forecast, Sammy? Partly cloudy today. High of 74 in the valley. 74 for downtown, 74 for Orange County, and 70s along the coast. All right, it's the Woody Show. Happy Friday.